I'm Bill Monroe. Area residents and visitors got a sneak preview of the December 4th Prescott Christmas Courthouse lighting Tuesday night. Chamber of Commerce officials normally check the lights a few days before the official ceremony, and this year they decided to invite the public to get a sneak peek. Mayor Marlon Kirkendall and his family issued an open letter to the public. They thanked the staff working in the emergency room and the policemen who drove them there on Veterans Day after the mayor suffered chest pains on the grounds of the VA center. He is recovering from quintuple bypass surgery performed on November 12th at Yavapai Regional Medical Center. Prescott Valley resident Diana Gladfelter pleaded guilty in Yavapai County Superior Court to a charge of attempting to hinder prosecution, a Class 6 felony. Gladfelter's ex-husband is John McCluskey, who escaped from a private prison near Kingman with two other convicts on July 30th. And the town of Prescott Valley kicked off the holiday season Friday night with its annual holiday lighting ceremony of the Civic Center and the Parade of Lights. Attendees were able to view the Create a Tree exhibit in the center and Santa Claus visited with children afterwards. The Dewey Humboldt Town Council held a special session Tuesday night to discuss options in the process for appointing a new interim town manager and recruitment of a town manager. Council voted to advertise for an interim town administrator and to conduct the manager recruitment in-house. During a closed executive session Tuesday, the Prescott City Council discussed the transition regarding the city manager position as city manager Steve Nord has accepted a position in Round Rock, Texas. The new state fireworks law went into effect on Wednesday. The Prescott and Prescott Valley Town Council is prepared for the implementation of this law by passing ordinances restricting the use of fireworks within city or town limits. A couple of armed robberies took place in Prescott and Prescott Valley Wednesday. At about 5.30 that morning, 37-year-old Prescott resident Rene Dupuy allegedly robbed the Whataburger restaurant on East Greeley Street, and that night, 38-year-old Prescott Valley resident Timothy Lee allegedly robbed the Walgreens store on Center Court. No one was injured in either incident. And the Prescott Valley Town Council approved a deferral of fees and charges for new development in the Granville subdivision. Impact and water and wastewater fees will be deferred until the certificate of occupancy is issued. I'm Bill Monroe, and that's your KQ&A News Week in Review.